Hello, welcome to Amari Yoga. Today we are going to do an advanced, intermediate advanced session of Vinyasa. I'm going to take you through inversions. Um, it's going to be lots of twists, lots of arm balancings, um, back bends and um, head stands. And I will hope uh, that you are okay with um, these uh, asanas, but if you feel like some of them they are too advanced uh, or you want to hold them for a little bit longer because it's not enough for you, feel free to do that, to pause the video and to get through it. Uh, if there is any pose, any asana that you struggle with, uh, feel free to comment below and ask me maybe what's the modification or what kind of um, progression you can do at home so you can improve into that asana specifically. Um, please also be safe. If you haven't done before any of the most advanced asanas that we're going to do during this um, session, please uh, make sure you practice for the first time in person if possible with a practitioner, with a yoga teacher um, in a one-to-one -one class or maybe you watch a few more tutorials or just ask me and I'm happy to guide you through um, different um, instructions to get into that pose, final pose. And as I always say, yoga is not about the final pose, it's about the journey towards it. So for me, in order to get here today and do all these asanas, it took me more than six years of practice. So please don't feel discouraged. Um, you can do it. I could do it. You can do it. Still loads that I need to improve. So yeah, take your own journey. Take it easy. Take the challenge that is okay with you. And I hope you enjoy the practice today. And remember to subscribe and like if uh, you enjoy it. And lots more videos will come to my channel in the future. Let's begin. Come towards the front of the yoga mat. Stand on your feet into your Tadasana. And just find your time to settle into it. Just keeping the feet very close. Feeling the earth, the yoga mat underneath your feet. And yes, staying as still as possible because as you know, you might move a little bit around. If you want a bit more stability, maybe you open your feet a little bit wider, leave a space in between. Keep your pelvis tucked, squeeze your glutes, legs engaged as well, shoulders above, hips. Head in between your shoulders. And just breathe. Inhale in through the nose. And exhale in through the mouth. As you take a deep inhale, reach the hands all the way up. And as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward one more time. As you inhale, palms parallel to your feet and reach the right leg as high as you can into your standing split. If possible, walk the hands towards your ankle, taking off the hands from the ground. If not, just keep the hands on the ground. Come back with the hands on the ground and step the right foot back. As you inhale, come into your high lunge. As you exhale, bend elbows sideways and interlock the fingers behind your back, open chest. Maybe slide those knuckles down your leg. And as you inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Exhale, hands into the front of the yoga mat and come into your first downward facing dog. Taking a few deep breaths in there. With the next inhale, as you come into your plank and as you exhale, come into your upward facing dog. 
and with the next inhale, tuck the toes and come into your downward face and tuck. Taking deep breaths, look in between the hands, jump and step in between the hands. Inhale and reach the hands all the way up towards the sky. As you exhale, palms together into your prior position. With the next exhale, arch your back, come into your standing bad back bend. Inhale, come with the hands all the way up towards the sky and as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward one more time. Palms parallel to your feet this time. Bring the left leg as high as you can towards the sky. Squeeze the glutes, keep the legs strong, keep your balance. Maybe walk the hands into your ankle. Maybe push that leg, that top leg, a little bit higher. Place palms parallel to your feet. Step the left foot back. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up into your high lunge. Elbows towards the side. Open the chest, shoulder blade together. Interlock fingers. And maybe slide the knuckles down towards the left leg. As you inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, and hands parallel to your feet. Step the right foot back into your downward face and look. Inhale, come into your plank. Exhale, come into your chaturanga. Inhale, come into your upward face and dog. And as you exhale, tuck the toes and come into your downward face and dog. Breathe. Stay still, maybe walk your downward face and dog. Looking in between the hands, bend the knees, jumping into the front of the yoga mat. Staying in your fold forward into your standing yoga seal, where we interlock the fingers behind you and let the gravity to pull the knuckles down. Release hands, palms parallel to your feet. Jump or step into the back of the yoga mat, into your plank. Hold the plank, and then as you exhale, come into your chaturanga. Inhale, come into your upward face and dog. Exhale, come into your downward face and dog. Breathe. Make sure the pelvis is as high as you can. Then reach the right leg as high as you can. Maybe take off the right hand from the ground and come into your side plank, rotating those hips towards the left. Maybe reach in with your right hand, the toes, and then using your hand to step that foot into the front of the yoga mat. Inhaling as you reach the hands up, and then as you exhale, palms into your chest. Wrap the rounds around the back into that twist and then maybe step the left foot forward into your standing and slowly we are gonna come into our revolved bird of paradise. Take your own time to do this sequence. Maybe just bring it back the video a little bit, check the sequence and practice at home. Pause it maybe and rest in between each side. Now from here, we're gonna come towards the opposite side. So we're gonna one more time jump into our plank, come into our side plank on your own timing, lifting this time the left leg up, maybe reaching toes, bend the knees in order to do that, pushing the hips as high as you can off from the ground, and then use the hand to step the foot forward. Palms into your prior position, twist and look towards the left. And then from here, keeping that high lunge, we're gonna wrap the hands around the back, underneath the leg, step the right foot forward and change into your revolved bird of paradise. Take your own time in. It's really important you take your own time in because every single person is different, so you need to find your own rhythm. Slowly release the hands, come all the way down and control. Shake the upper body, the head, side to side.
and then palms parallel to your feet and a step or jump into your plank. Maybe you rock along a little bit forearm and back and come into your chaturanga. Then belly into the ground, open the legs a little bit wider or keep them together and come into your cobra pose, variation of cobra pose. And if you feel like it, come into your king cobra where we're gonna bend the knees and maybe try to reach the head into your feet. As you exhale, come into your child pose and take your time into your child pose. Take in an inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth and slowly press hands into the ground and come into your malasana. Feet flat on the ground, toes point in 45 degrees, knees open, hips open, trunk straight and then the right hand into the ground, left hand back and around the waist. Maybe interlock the fingers and prepare yourself to come into your standing balance pose, standing gallard pose, we call this one, Ekapada Malasana. One more time, pause the video or take your time to do this asana. Change towards the other side. These asanas are advanced, so take your own journey into it. Change towards the opposite leg, starting from your malasana and then come into that standing gallard pose. This time do it with the left leg. And try to concentrate on your breath while you do it. Try to concentrate on coming down as slow as possible, same as you come up. And then come into your fold forward. Yes, swing there and then walk hands into your downward face and dog. Staying still, maybe arching slightly a little bit your back or just keeping that downward face and dog. As you inhale, come into your one leg downward face and dog, reaching right leg as high as you can. And as you exhale, right knee towards your chest. Inhale, bring it all the way back up into the sky. And as you exhale, right knee towards the chest and we're gonna step the foot in between the hands. Reach the hands as high as you can. Twist in there your spine, left hand into the right knee. And then as you inhale, come towards the center and down into the floor. Step the right foot back into your downward face and up. Walk that downward facing dog and when you're ready, inhale and lift the left leg. As you exhale, bring the left knee towards the chest and then step it in between the hands. Inhale, reach the hands as high as you can. And as you exhale, get a twist into the back, right hand into the left knee, left hand into the back leg. Inhale, come towards the center. Exhale, hands parallel to your front foot. And then step the right foot into your fold forward. Inhale, reach the hands as high as you can. As you exhale, palms into your prior position. Inhale, reach the hands one more time all the way up. And as you exhale, fold forward. Relax the head. Relax the upper body. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Palms parallel to your feet, step the right foot back and right knee into the ground. Inhale and come into your low lunge, reaching hands up and as you exhale, hands parallel to your front foot, step the left foot back into your downward face and dog. Tuck that pelvis as high as you can and slowly walk hands towards your toes. Coming into your fold forward, shaking the head if it's needed to release that extra tension and walk hands again into your downward face and dog. Now we're gonna look in between the hands. We're gonna jump a step towards the front of the yoga mat. As you inhale, reach the hands all the way up. As you exhale, fold forward. As you inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, fold forward. 
and then palms parallel to your feet. Step the left foot back, left knee into the ground. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up, palms looking at each other. Exhale, palms parallel to your front foot. Step the right foot back into your downward facing dog. Walk the downward facing dog and lift right leg as high as you can. Bend that top knee and maybe move the ankle a little bit as you keep opening the hips, but you keep shoulders square. Right knee towards the right elbow, towards the left elbow, and then extend it towards the right, extend it towards the left, still floating, and reach it all the way back up towards the sky. Step into your downward facing dog. Ready for the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg, keep your hips square and then open the hips and bend the top knee. Maybe move the ankle, the toes a little bit, keep shoulders square, hips square and then as you exhale, tuck into the middle, left elbow, right elbow, extend towards the right, extend towards the left and extend back up into the sky. Step the left foot back down into your downward facing dog. Looking in between the hands and rolling into your plank. Coming into your chaturanga, strong in there, and upward facing dog. And as you exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Take deep breaths. Keep your downward facing dogs as long as you need to. Feel free to pose it, feel free to come into your child pose. And slowly, when you're ready, walk hands into your fold forward. Just letting go of that heaviness of the upper body. As you inhale, reach the hands all the way up, tucking pelvis in, sucking that belly. And slowly and control, find your balance by reaching the right knee as high as you can. Left hand into the right knee and the right hand back and around the waist. Extended hand to big toe pose. On your own time, maybe if he feels good on your flexibility, reach with the left hand, the right toes from the outside and try to extend it in front of you as you keep looking towards the side and back. And maybe extend the right arm as well towards the back. Bend it and come back into that simple twist with the knee bend. Reaching your, with the left hand, the right hand, the inside of that right foot and come into your standing half bow balance pose. And if it feels good, maybe try to reach with the left hand on the ground as you try to push the knee as high as you can. As you exhale, release and come into your fold forward. Maybe cuddle your legs, your ankles. And slowly, we're gonna change towards the other side. Inhale and reach all the way up towards the sky. And as you exhale, palms into your prior position. Get ready to balance on the other leg and lift the left knee as high as you can. This time right hand into the left knee and the left hand back around the waist. Maybe this is good enough for you and you want to stay there. Maybe you want to hold the knee, keep holding it there or maybe holding it from underneath your thigh. Or maybe you can reach your, the outside of your toes and extend the leg forward as you extend the left arm back and keep reaching and looking back. Slowly bend the left knee, come into that simple twist, come in towards the center and slowly left hand into the inside of the left foot and start leaning the chest forward, trying to keep the hips square and slowly right hand into the ground. You can avoid this last step if you feel like it's too much. Release the hands on the ground and with the right and left 
hand, maybe interlock those big toes and try to fold, fold a little bit deeper. Now we're gonna come into a pistol the squat pose holding foot. So as you keep holding one foot, we're gonna try to extend the other one coming into that deep squat. One more time, take your time here. Watch maybe first the video and then try to do it at home. Try to do always both sides. And if you feel like your heels are off from the ground, maybe put a folded blanket underneath your heels. Walk hands towards the front of the yoga mat. Come into your downward facing dog. As you inhale, come into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, tuck the toes and come into your downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. With the net breathe in, lift the right leg as high as you can and roll into your plank, keeping the right leg lifted, giving the extra challenge of one more leg that is lifted off from the ground. Maybe you can tuck it at the back of the left ankle, as you can see. Change towards the other leg, come into your downward facing dog and start with the opposite leg, lifting the left leg, rolling into your plank, coming into your chaturanga, maybe rest the top of the foot on top of the other one and lift that left leg all the way back up towards the sky. Left foot into your downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. And next time, breathe out. Maybe bring four arms and elbows into the yoga mat. Come into your dolphin pose. Walking the toes a little bit closer towards your face. Keeping the head sideways of your arms and slowly changing into your sirsasana. Head stand. Here, one more time, if you have practiced it before, go for it. If it's the first time you're practicing it, please watch a tutorial uh, that I have on my channel as well about inversions. And you will learn how to do different kind of inversions. Then if you are familiar with the sasana, you can maybe with play with the legs around before to come all the way down as slow and as controlled as possible. Engage in your core at all the time. Changing and adjusting back and pushing back into your downward face and dog from your dolphin pose. Breathe in as you come into your plank and then lift that right leg as high as you can, holding that plank and lifting the opposite hand. It might feel a little bit wobbly, but we're gonna try it. Now opposite leg, left leg is gonna be lifted and right arm is gonna be lift, maybe. With the next inhale, bring the right knee towards the right elbow and try to get into your flying splits, fully extending that right leg towards the front, left leg off from the ground. Inhale and lift the right leg all the way up towards the sky and as you exhale, Step the foot down into your downward face and again change legs, left leg up. And as you exhale, left knee into the left elbow, maybe try to take off the right foot off from the ground. Inhale and lift the left leg all the way up. Exhale, step the left foot down into your downward face and dog. Walk, downward face and dog. Look in between the hands, jump or step into the front of the yoga mat. Slowly change that weight into your arms and get into your arm balance of crow pose. Hold it for as long as it feels good. And then just come back into your fold forward. Inhale and lift the hands off from the ground, palms into the prior position. Come into your ukatasana chair pose and then twist into the left. And then from there, we're gonna try to come into our sideways crow posture. Pars, but back asana. 
you can extend the legs or keep them tucked in. Then we're going to come towards the center, coming back into that Ukkatasana chair pose, and then change into that sideways crow pose towards the opposite side. Playing with the legs around or just keeping a little bit of a stillness as we find that arm balance. Coming towards the center and jumping into your downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out and dropping knees into the ground. Relaxing toes and coming into your child pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Find your breath. Try to come back to that calm state. When you're ready, look in between the hands and push back up into your downward facing dog. Bend the knee to chest. Lifting heels, and when you're ready, jump into the front of the yoga mat, cross legs, and come into your balance pose where we're lifting off the toes from the ground. Right hand is going to be reaching the right toes, and we're going to come into that single toe hold. Change towards the opposite leg, yes, as a warm up. Keeping your back straight, your shoulders back, your core engaged. And then if possible, maybe with both hands into the toes, come into that double toe stand. Both pose, Navasana. Take off the hands from the ground, maybe sideways of the legs or maybe above the head, keeping the back straight. Slowly come a little bit lower and then relax the back on the ground. And as you keep hands sideways of the yoga mat, try to push the legs back up into your shoulder stand. Watch out your neck, make sure your neck is happy into your shoulder stand. And when you're ready, come into your halasana, interlocking fingers, knuckles together, and then maybe come back one by one the legs into your shoulder stand with the arms support. If you want a little bit more, maybe play with the legs around, bring the left knee towards your forehead, touch the ground, change right knee towards your forehead, touch with the left toes the ground and bend back up or halfway. And we're going to come to an unsupported shoulder balance variations. So take off the hands from the ground very slowly and maybe use the hands to support your knees as you come into your butterfly. As you are still into that shoulder stand, maybe change into your floating chair pose. In that inversion. And slowly roll back into your boat pose, Navasana. Breathe in and maybe bring the hands above the head. Get a twist, hold the outside of your calf and maybe drop the other foot. Get into a simple twist. Come back up into your Navasana, change towards the opposite side. Maybe right hand on the ground left foot on the ground, stay in that twist, simple twist without challenge for our core, it's just that simple and then slowly come to lie on your back, get ready for your wheel pose, palms above your head, above your shoulders, fingers, pity lips, looking towards your shoulders and push back up. Engage your glutes, push the belly up, coming into your toes maybe. Keep the arms straight, don't collapse on your elbows. And we're gonna maybe play with the legs around as we lift one of the legs up. And then we step it down 
and maybe touching opposite knee. Just whatever it feels right in your wheel pose. Slowly come into an inverted staff posture. So your forearms and your palms and your elbows are coming into the ground while we keep that back, deep back bend. And then push back up into your wheel pose and watch out if you can maybe come into your standing pose from your full wheel. Watch the video, see if you can do it. Maybe walk up the wall if you have the wall next to you or maybe just leave it for the next challenge. Slowly come into your standing pose on your own terms. Reach and hands as high as you can as you inhale and as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale and come halfway lift. And as you exhale, fold forward, come into your deep squat, palms into the outside of your foot and then bring the hips as high as you can, find your hand arm balance and then dig your head into the ground and come into your tripod pose, Salam Basir Sasana. Make sure you've practiced this before, before to do it. If not, please watch a tutorial and practice it another time or maybe today, but take at least a few minutes to understand the pose and make sure you are safe if you want to practice it. Slowly come back into your arm balance maybe. So push with the hands that head off from the ground. Maybe hold the arm balance for a few seconds and then just place the toes on the ground. Come back into that malasana and slowly ground your pelvis on the ground, your bum on the ground. Cross the legs and just extend the arms above the head. Rest in there. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Noticing how the inversions make our head feel like. The blood coming all the way down. Slowly change into your extended puppy pose. So extend the arms above the head, first maybe table pose, and then bring the chin in between the arms, looking in between the hands. And if you want a little bit more, we're gonna come into a more advanced variation of the puppy pose. There's gonna be one-legged puppy pose, Ekapada Uttana Sishosasana. So we're going to be supporting one of the knees and the other leg is going to be coming up. Maybe we bend the top leg or maybe we keep it straight and slowly find a way to change towards the other side. So now we're going to be supporting the opposite knee. Maybe the knee can be on top of the palms or maybe the knee can be on the ground and you're holding behind your shin. Extend that top leg or maybe bend it. Come all the way down. Come back into your extended puppy pose. Breathe in, breathe out and roll and change into your plank. Now notice what your back is asking you to do. Maybe just roll a little bit to the right, to the left. Move your hips, your neck, your upper body, your shoulders, middle back, lower back. And on your own time, bring the right knee in between the hands come into your pigeon pose, 
very beautiful asana to stretch your hips. Maybe stay up here or maybe change into your marmot pose. Make sure the hips are square and then if you want even a little bit more come into king pigeon pose. In order to make the transition between one and the other one, these different versions, please observe, watch, do a few tutorials, yes, specifically attached a link to that pose, and then practice on your own timing. Change towards the other leg. This time the left leg is gonna come forward into that pigeon pose. You choose what pigeon pose is good for you. Might be the mermaid, might be the king pigeon pose. And notice also the differences between the right and the left hip. Because you might feel different on the sides of your body. And just take your own time on your hip openers like any other asana. And with the next inhale, let's cross the legs, come towards a cross leg seated position. If you feel like a stretch in your neck a little bit, maybe just roll that head towards the right, towards the left, opening a gap in between your ear and your shoulder. Maybe interlocking the fingers behind your head, pushing the head down so you feel the stretch into the back of the neck. Inhale and open your throat. And then exhale one more time, maybe push the head down, feel the stretch into the neck, into the upper back. Release the hands. Maybe come into your half lotus or full lotus pose. Maybe do your chin mudra or any other mudra that you feel familiar with. And meditate in here for as long as you feel like it's right for you today. Breathing in, breathing out. When you're ready, palms into your chest. Namaste. Thank you very much. <laughs>